Hey guys, what's going on? So today starts the very first video of a series that I'm doing where I'm going to build a uh, Fender Flare wide body kit for my E46. Now, one of the things that I'm gonna be doing in this video is starting off with test fitting the wheels. The way I'm gonna get the proper offset is I'm gonna keep everything even. Um, I have two um, different offset wheels. So they're the same size, they're 18 by 11s. The front is a 15 offset and the rear is 25 offset. So I've got a 15 offset uh, or 15 uh, millimeter spacer for the front. I've got 25 millimeter spacers for the back. So here are the front spacers. They're not too big. Um, I've run 15 millimeter spacers on the car before, so that's something I'm used to. Something I've never used before is a uh, spacer. You actually have to bolt it to your hub, um, and then from there you bolt the, um, or you put your, either bolt your wheel to it. Um, in this case, I have wheel studs, so I'm gonna put wheel studs in here, um, and then mount my wheel to this spacer. So that should give me an even 18 by 11 setup all the way around the car. Now I am talking about building fender flares myself. I'm not gonna buy a kit. Um, I have an idea of what I want it to look like. Uh, it's really gonna be a mixture of the Liberty Walk kit for the E92, um, somewhat kind of like the RWB kit uh, for Porsche. And then I also want to incorporate uh, some of the Rocket Bunny style for the DRZ, uh, you know, FRS, GTAs, whatever you want to call it. So I like all of those styles and I want to kind of combine those. Um, there's a couple kits out there that are similar, um, but I just want to do something that's totally custom, totally um, my own. So uh, what, what I'm going to do in order to create that. So I'm going to start with, um, I'm going to mask off each fender of the car. Uh, with some blue, blue painter's tape. That's pretty easy. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take cardboard pieces, slabs, and I'm gonna go underneath the wheel well. So where the, uh, I'm gonna mount the wheels that is gonna be on the wide body. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take cardboard that kind of goes out from that, and then I'm gonna take spray foam, expanding foam, and I'm just going to fill the entire fender um, with this. So that way, once it fills, once it expands, and it gets hardened, um, I will might use some other foam that I have um, that I bought a little while ago that I saw um, another guy on YouTube doing, and I thought it was pretty cool. But I am going to try this because it's really easy to get. I can actually get this at Lowe's. Um, so you can get it at Lowe's too. But it's this stuff right here. So I think it expands okay, and I've seen other people use um, similar pans of expanding foam. So what I'm going to end up doing is uh, just filling all of that with foam. That's kind of my big project today. If it all dries, then I'll start shaping. Uh, now, one of the cool things about my wide body kit that I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be incorporating a 1M bumper. I've been working on the 1M bumper for a little while now. Um, I had to swap over the mounts. I had to go over the, the crash bar that's on the car right now, and then there's a little foam piece that goes inside of that. So I had to cut that up a little bit. Um, and then basically, the bumper that I got from Duraflex was uh, too long, too wide. The, the arc, the angle in the middle was too expanded, so it needed to be brought in a little bit. So I had to make a cut in the center and I had to uh, fiberglass it together. So now it's fitting pretty flush. Let me show you that real quick. All right, so here's the one end bumper on the car. Now you'll notice in the center where all like the sanding and then the unevenness, well not unevenness, but discoloration. Uh, is here. I had to cut that piece. Those are two holes that I had to drill um, to get it right. Uh, it's kind of confusing how I ha ended up having to do it, but I made it happen. So this this is fairly smooth. There's a little nick um, in the bumper. I don't know if you can see that, but I just have to fill that with um, some smaller, finer body filler um, and then sand the whole thing down. Once I get the whole thing sanded down, what I'm going to end up doing is most kits, um, the fender flare kits that I've seen, the fender flares uh, stop short, stop right here on this area. So what I want to do is I want to bring it all the way down um, and then mold that into a diffuser that I'm going to build down here. Um, and that's something that I'll do in a later video. Now I'm going to be honest, I've never done anything like this before. So this is going to be uh, a learning experience, which is why I want to take you guys along with me. Um, if you guys have any suggestions about how to do all this stuff, um, I'd love to hear it in the comments down below. Um, if you're excited about this, go ahead and give this video a like, and if you want to see more, uh, don't forget to subscribe. Now, as far as what's going to happen next, I am going to start on the uh, masking off of the car. Um, once I mask off the car, I'll go ahead and put it all up on four jacks, and then start taking off the wheels and putting on the uh, wheels that I bought so you guys get a chance to see those. So I kind of cut the camera off for just a second, but as you can see, what I ended up doing was 
I started a mask and then I decided that I really wanted to get rid of anything that was going to be in my way. I figured the foam, I can take care of that after the fact. So now it's all smooth, now I can go back to masking and the way that I was masking started to get air bubbles and everything so it wasn't flat. So I'm going to have to do shorter strips and just smooth everything out and make sure it's really good. So I'm thinking of going at a downward angle this way so that way it doesn't bubble up because it's on that curve so I'll be able to get a finer, uh, smoother finish. Over here, I don't really have to do anything except for remove that bottom trim piece. So that's gonna be next. All right, let's get back to masking. So I finished off the masking, so next thing I've got to do is I'm going to um, jack up the car, take the wheels off, um, put the new wheels on with the spacers, make sure I can see everything, uh, line everything properly, and then from there what I really want to do is um, take a Sharpie and just kind of mark and, and outline exactly what I want as far as uh, what the final look is going to be, the final shape is going to be of the, of the fenders. Now I even added a little bit of tape down on the bottom. Um, on the rear bumper, and that's because I've seen, like on the Liberty Walk kits, um, they have that little um, uh, added piece there uh, to go with the kit. I really liked it. I thought it'd be cool to try and mold that into the E46 and 3. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on that. I've pulled off everything that I need to. I've got enough masking tape on the car to go make ridiculously huge players. So uh, next thing, like I said, let's get the car up. Alright guys, so what I ended up doing was test fitting all the wheels. Now what ended up happening was is I have um, two sets of wheels because the company that I bought the wheels from uh, didn't have the same offset uh, wheels because it was the last is the last set that they made. So I can't get any more um, and I got them at a really good price. So what ended up happening is I have two, uh, two wheels that have a 15 offset and I have two wheels that have a 25. Um, offset and so what I did was is I did um, spacers to make each wheel sit exactly at zero so I've got 25 millimeter spacers on the rear with the uh, 25 millimeter offset wheels in the back and then I've done the same thing with the 15 so I got 15 millimeter spacers and I got the 15 uh, offset wheels up front what that ended up doing is not making it as wide as I wanted it to so what I'm going to end up having to do is take the 25 millimeter offset wheels, put them up front with a 25 millimeter spacer, and I'm gonna take the 15 millimeter um, offset wheel, put those in the back along with the 25 millimeter spacer. So what that's gonna end up doing is throwing me 10 millimeters um, inboard of center. So that way, hopefully, it'll be wide enough. I can kind of show you right now. So that's the car. Um, I mean, I'm happy with the look. I really like the wheels. Obviously, these are hanging freely, so there's no load on them, and I'm obviously going to lower the car. So, honestly, the next step, so this is going to be a little bit of juggling, but how it's going to work is these are the wheels that I was running on my M3. Not those wheels, those wheels. I like these wheels, which are from the um, M3, the E9X uh, M3. So, I got those wheels, they're 18s. Um, and so I've got those, all four of them. So what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna put them on my daily, which is a 2007 335i. So I'm gonna take those junky wheels, which I absolutely hate. I'm gonna take those, put them on the M3, just to be able to set the M3 back down on the ground. All right, so the M3 wheels are on the 335. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off the ESM wheels that I have, uh, put them back in the box for now, drop the car down on the 18s that were on the 335. And then from there, I'm gonna start, um, I'm gonna take some cardboard, I think. Um, take some cardboard and basically lay it between the um, fender and the tire to basically give me just a level platform. And then just start building foam 
uh, on top of that. That's kind of my goal. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all the wheels next to the car and then start taking off the ESM wheels. So as you can see, I've got my templates set up. I've got bubble wrap underneath the cardboard there. I don't know if that's gonna hold or not. I put uh, stuffed cardboard underneath between the wheels and the cardboard all, all on the other sides of the car. So now my big plan is just to take the foam and just start spreading. Um, so a couple things, let me show you guys. So <clears throat> gonna be spreading from here, so I wanna go up. I'm going to do the entire uh, length of the bumper, or the entire height of the bumper, I should say. Come across here, all the way down, and I'm going to try and figure out the right angle there. I'm thinking about um, taking a Sharpie and marking out what I want it to be. I'm going to have to figure that out if I'm actually going to do that or not yet, or if I'm just going to do it by, by looks. Um, so yeah, so this side, now I didn't do the bottom here just because I ran out of cardboard, and I'm not sure how I want to mock that up. So I may just leave it, but you can see the other side, same idea, right? So you've got your foam template here, that's out a good three inches. So I'll start spreading foam here and uh, do that, it's getting kind of late right now, it's about 11 o'clock right now, so I've been working on this for quite a few hours, but I've also done other things like I swapped the wheels over. I test fitted the wheels, I test fitted the spacers, I did all that stuff, the wheels on this car. So I've done a lot of different things. Um, I've also cleaned up the garage a couple times um, just to keep the workspace clean and easy to work in. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get on the um, spray foam, the next goal after I do the tape on that one side. All right guys, so it's a new day. I ended up crashing last night uh, before I could get any foam on the car. So my next goal is today, I wanna to get foam on the car um, before I leave for work, at least on this one fender right here, just to be able to test it. I've done a little bit of testing with the spray foam that I have, but I'm not quite sure how it's gonna react with everything. So what I wanna be able to do is uh, come out here, spray the foam, get it on the car, and then come back tonight when I get home and uh, just kinda of see where it's at. Um, but anyways, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the foam real quick, um, so that way you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. All right, so I'm super excited with that. That's That was really easy, and I, um, yeah, no. So that was one can. I used the entire can um, for the front bumper all the way across the fender and down the back. Now the back isn't um, as thick as it needs to be. I kind of wasted a little bit down here, I think, but um, I have plenty of cans, so I can do this. Um, I'm gonna do the rear fender, see how that turns out. Um, and then I may, uh, if I have some leftover foam in that can, I may come back over here and add some more. So I'm gonna do that real quick next. Let's do the rear fenders. So I'm pretty happy with how this is turning out. Obviously, I mean, it's expanding foam, and so I'm just kind of getting that basic material built up so I can start shaping my fender flares. But looking at it right now, like I'm a lot closer than I was uh, when I was like daydreaming about how to make this all happen uh, months and months and months ago. So I'm super excited. I can't wait to, uh, to finish doing the film and everything. Um, I'm really tempted to try and sink um, some more foam in on these fenders. Um, but I'm probably gonna wait just because I wanna see uh, how far this expands to. But I figure if I could get one side done, I'd be super happy, and I am. I'm, uh, like I said, I'm really close, so I'm super excited. All right, guys, well, that's it for this video. The next video, what I'm gonna be doing is, uh, hopefully I'll have the wheels mounted, uh, or I'm sorry, the tires mounted on the wheels. Um, by then, the tires should be coming in the next few days. Um, and then the wheels, I already have those, obviously, so I just need to take them down to a shop and get them mounted. Um, the other thing that I need to do in the uh, the next video um, is just kind of uh, start shaving down the foam. So what I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to uh, start 
building up more product on these sides, uh, on these vendors, and then I'm gonna start putting uh, foam on the other side. So that's kind of my big plan for when I get home this evening. Um, I'll probably start my next video then. So if you guys want to stay tuned and want to see uh, what's going to happen in the next video, go ahead, subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and give the video a, a like, uh, a thumbs up. And then lastly, if you guys have any questions about what I'm doing, maybe you guys have some suggestions even. I'd love suggestions on how to either do this better or maybe some guys who just have personal experience or just let me know that I'm on the right track. That'd be awesome. So go ahead and comment down below. I very much appreciate it. Well, that is going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you guys next time. Later.